So the first card you've got is the finger, and this is warning you of a problem that is coming up in the future for you. So uh, just be on the lookout that there might be something uh, that is coming up, some problem or some hurdle that you will have to sort through. The card below it is the casket card. So there is an ending of a relationship with somebody, some, somebody leaving your life or some kind of relationship coming to an end there with the casket card. You've got the tower above it, so there's been uh, solid foundations that you've been laying and success is about to come. Uh, but there's a little bit of effort that's going to be required on your part there. And there might be problems. You've got that finger warning you that there could be problems coming up as well. Now, in the past, you've got new opportunities or possibilities and paths opening up to you. So you're changing direction in life and you're moving on to something new uh, doorways are opening up for you and in the past you've also got beware of great pride so you know just having to face things with a little bit of humbleness is always a good thing uh, but it seems like uh, you know these new pathways are uh, opening up for you there now going into the future You've got the pineapple card, which says reconciliation. So uh, you could be meeting up with some old friends or old family. This is the Christmas period and generally a time that we do reconcile with family or friends. And that is coming up for you with the pineapple card of here. And you've got the, the star card, which is excellent because it says there's guaranteed success. So whatever you have to work on or you've been working on laying foundations for, there is success coming in and it is guaranteed with that star card. There's also that spiritual guidance that is coming in for you over there. So you could be getting some um, input from people that you're reconciling with that give you some ideas on how to reach a success faster. So you are going to be meeting up with some old friends and family, but there's also a way you are going to be ending some kind of relationship with somebody from the past there, somebody going out of your life, um, you know, maybe um, moving on to um, greener pastures, but they are definitely leaving your um, experience now. So a time for goodbyes, but also a time for new beginnings and maybe some reconciliations going on over there for you. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got uh, the five of pentacles um, and the card below it is the um, four of swords and the page of vessels which is the page of cups and the eight of swords so it looks like you have been in a situation that you have been feeling very very stuck in there's been a lot of anxiety you know you're not seeing what is going on you're feeling very very claustrophobic almost uh within that situation you can see this person is very much surrounded by uh swords um and you know you're looking to get stability maybe you're even thinking of buying a new home because uh, you've got a lot of uh, you know you've got a castle there in the background um there's something that's affecting your security and you know you you are you feel very stuck in the situation you are in it doesn't seem like you have any idea on how to get out of it uh, there's some information that has not been made available to you but there's something that is missing uh from uh whatever it is you know so it is about being almost like being in the dark and being stuck in the situation and not really knowing how to get out of it. And it's a, it's a, it's a kind of really high anxiety, um, you know, feeling very stressed out, feeling very almost isolated as well, as though there's nobody there that's giving you a helping hand. You've got the page of vessels. So this is about some kind of information coming to you. There is uh, something uh, or somebody bringing you information that will allow you um to get out of a situation. So it's practical advice coming in for you there with that page of vessels. And it's all, um, you know, this person's giving it to you uh, with really good intentions as well. So it's something that's very, very unusual. Uh, you didn't think uh, about a solution like this before. So it's, it's unexpected. It's an unusual bit of information or an unusual piece of advice that will be coming to you there. Um, you've got that four of swords over here. So there is, it's important for you to take this advice and, uh, you know, take some, a step back from the situation really and, uh, think on how you're going to use the advice to conquer your problems. You can see them him's fighting the dragon there in the background there in that window um so there is a time for you to reflect on this information and come up with a strategy so this is an important bit of information that is coming up important piece of advice that is coming and this is going to allow you to get back on your feet again it's going to allow you to start fighting this battle or to start winning in this battle but it's also a piece of information that you need it's a missing piece of the puzzle that you need um to um solve this problem really 
you've got that five of pentacles you have been feeling extremely uh insecure there's been a loss of um maybe money as well with the situation uh feeling as though all the doors have closed in your face as well so this important information is coming to you or this important solution is coming to you from somebody who does care a lot about you or has some kind of uh you know they they do um they're very sincere with this bit of information and it's going to help you get through whatever this loss is that you're going through, whatever the state of deprivation that you're going through. It's going to help you seek out or find a solution because you have been feeling extremely stuck with that eight of swords. But this is, uh, you know, it's, it's almost, um, uh, a rescue kind of piece of information that comes in to help you out in the situation. <clears throat> so keep your ears open and, and don't discount any information that comes your way or any advice that comes your way. You've got the world card over here and you've got the ten of swords. So these are two endings. So whatever situation you are going through, you have gone through a state of extreme loss, uh, you know, a crisis financially um, and a crisis in your security. And you've got the world card over here together with that Ten of Swords showing that there's been a complete ending to a situation. Uh, you are moving off completely. Now, this could have been, uh, you know, a loss of a job, a loss of financial security because the world card is ruled by Saturn, which signifies money. It signifies uh, earnings, uh, work, a work situation. With that Ten of Swords, you know, you can see this is complete endings. Uh, there's no way of resurrecting the situation again it seems like there was financial loss together with the situation so you may have gone through an ending uh, of a job or you know may you have maybe you have been let go from a situation so you're going through quite a crisis and quite a uh it's it's been quite uh, dramatic uh and quite devastating whatever this change is uh, it seems like you know there's been some kind of legal ending to the situation because it's the ten of swords um but there's also been a lot of uh uh, people that have not been supportive of you, backstabbing going on, uh, you know, it's almost like, um, you know, when you needed them the most, they were not there for you. With this world card, it's a complete ending of that situation and moving on. Now, this is all karmic because the world card is a major arcana card. So whatever this was that needed to end, end has gone according to uh, divine planning, really. Um, maybe this was not a good situation for you. Uh, maybe these people were taking too much of advantage of you and the universe seems to have stepped in and ended that situation. So there's a big... Um, you're feeling very devastated, feeling very, very um, lost, uh, feeling very, very unsupported right now. Whatever you were doing, uh, you know, you had... It was a lot of problems that uh, were uh, encountered in this situation. So you can see there's a lot of rods coming up against this person. And it seems like every single day was a battle and you were defending yourself all the time. Uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, victimizing you or uh, making you, um, you know, the brunt of whatever it is that they were fighting. So it seems like you were at the center of it. Everybody seems to have turned against you and, uh, you know, you were having to defend yourself all the time. Now, you've got the Knight of Pentacles over there. So it seems like you were working very, very hard. And, you know, even though things, um, money was coming in, it was not sufficient. And, you know, you were having to work extremely hard to uh, earn that coin. And all the while, it seems like there was a lot of problems and a lot of difficult people that you were facing uh, as well in this situation. So, um, you know, things were very slow moving or you've been feeling as though you're very, very stuck you're not moving fast enough and that coin is not coming to you fast enough as well. And maybe this is the reason why the situation has ended. You're very, very defensive as well with that nine of stones uh, there. Sorry, the nine of staves rather. Uh, you can see having fought a lot of bat battles. This is the card about, uh, you know, you've been hanging there, uh, trying to be as resilient as possible, trying to sort through things, but you're very tired of defending yourself. And, uh, you know, you're having to face a lot of issues. There's been a lot of problems that you've been facing. Uh, you've been fighting these battles one at a time, but right now, you know, you are mentally exhausted as well. <coughs> now, going into the future, you've got the Eight of Vessels, so it seems like you are going to leave the situation. You are walking away. It was something that you put in a lot of effort into. You can see these cups are uh, piled very, very neatly. So it's something that you, you know, you had a lot of pride in your work or whatever it is that you were doing. You put a lot of effort, a lot of energy into this situation. Now, if this was a uh, relationship situation, it seems like, you know, even there you are leaving it. And this might have been a divorce situation as well, where you're completely leaving it and moving on. 
there's been so many problems it seems like you can't um tolerate it anymore it's something that you're not willing to to deal with uh, you're ending the cycle over here and you are walking away and it's very uh you know um upsetting on your part because you're going on off on your journey by yourself you're going off to do your own thing now and you're uh, leaving behind something that you had put so much of effort and dedication into uh, you know it's it's uh it's it's you get that loneliness coming through this card and this feeling about you know you tried as hard as you could uh, to make it work and it really didn't so you put in so much of effort and you know it seems like nobody has recognized uh, your skills or your talents or nobody has appreciated you but things are going to look better so you've got the sun coming up for you over there so all that effort and energy that you have is going to pay off everything that you uh, dedicate yourself to will have success so although it's going to be a, a little bit difficult coming up in the future with effort you will be successful the sun card shows success after being extremely busy or having to work hard but there is um you know success that is guaranteed there might be some very very important message that comes in you've got this really big red flag coming through this card showing that there's some good news on its way to you and it's going to brighten your mood as well so whereas where you get this eight of uh, cups being a rather you know depressing looking card the sun card is showing that you know you're going to have to start off again afresh but it looks like you'll be able to be successful at whatever it is you're doing. So you're laying something to rest over there. Now, this is the death card. This could be the end of a relationship uh, and or the end of a job. But this is was a sudden ending and it is, um, you know, it's happening at the moment or will happen. And you will move on to something different. So the death card shows a uh, significant change, a great, um, you know, upheaval in a sense but also a change away from whatever you have been in now you've got two cards uh, there as well that you the ten of swords as well as the death card showing that there is a definite ending to the situation whatever is going on this relationship or this situation is coming to an end and you are going to be moving on to something different even that world card showing a definite ending You've got the hangman card here in your hopes and fears. So, uh, you know, you are feeling a little stuck. You are feeling as though your world is a bit upside down. That things happened and you made a lot of sacrifices in the situation and it didn't quite pay off. You're starting to see things from a very different point of view with the hangman. Uh, but it is the card of sacrifice. And it is the card, um, it is a situation where you did feel as though you made a lot of sacrifices. And you can see with that ten, uh, with that eight of uh, cups, uh, a lot of sacrifices made. A lot of hard work went into this situation um, and you're feeling it now you know you're thinking about it you're reflecting on it as well and feeling as though you know you made you gave a lot to a situation that didn't pay off or wasn't um, working out for you and now you've decided to let it go and move on now coming up in uh, the future and the final outcome you've got the page of pentacles the star card and the ten of pentacles so this seems like it's more uh, likely to be a work situation you've got the page of pentacles over here so there's a new job offer coming in for you now, the page usually takes the ace of pentacles and it works with it so whatever this job is uh, you're going to it seems like you are going to accept this offer that comes in there will be an offer that comes in um, because you can see the eight of uh, vessels walking away from an old situation into something else in the future it's a bit unknown about what's coming in for you but you are you are getting a job offer that will come in and you will start work on that so there is news of that job offer coming in for you and it seems like you will accept it and start afresh as well there might be some learning or study that is involved with this new job that comes in for you you've got the star card over there so there is a need for you to get rid of all these negative feelings and emotions that you have you can see she's emptying out these two vessels in her hand over here um the star card is about hope it's about uh, something new and it's about being guided divinely guided and there is a need for you to follow your star there's a, a stalk in this card over here showing that there might be travel away from wherever you are at so there may be a home change a relocation moving on to somewhere else uh, to start afresh so letting go of everything just you know abandoning whatever you have been going through and moving on 
And there's also a need for you to let go of all those negative emotions that have accumulated all those memories uh, and move on to something else. Uh, you know, go with the flow. Wherever the universe is guiding you, you need to go. Follow the money, really, if this is a job situation. If this was a relationship situation, there's also a need for you to really forgive yourself uh, and move on, uh, you know, um, let go of all those negative emotions that are going off and start working on something brand new, focusing on yourself there with that page of pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles showing that there is going to be money that comes in. So whatever this new job is, uh, it's going to bring in a lot of success. It's going to allow you to build your your empire, really. Uh, you know, there is news coming in about it. You've got these two flags over here. Uh, uh, there's a big shield in the middle of this uh, so if, of this card showing that, you know, you need to defend everything that you've worked for. Uh, so, you know, um, whatever it is, you will be able to build something better. Uh, you will be able to... Um, even though you may start from, from the beginning again, uh, it's going to be something that's going to be very successful and a lot of money will be coming in. You'll be able to establish yourself. Uh, and, you know, this is also about security uh, coming back in again. So where you've got the five of pentacles, where you're feeling very insecure, a loss of security, a crisis in your finances, it ends with the, the ten of pentacles, which shows that money is going to be coming in. Uh, there will be a lot of support for you um, and you'll be able to, uh, you you know, even buy yourself a new home uh, or, you know, acquire your, the financial things or acquire material things that you have been going for. So once you leave the situation, it seems like it's better and brighter uh, pastures out there and um, provide, you know, let go of all, any kind of negative emotions that are holding you back. The universe is guiding you in towards prosperity and abundance. And um, you need to follow that. You need to think positively especially with the sun card because there's some good news on its way so all the things seem to be a bit dire at the moment and you have gone through a lot of difficulties uh, it looks like things are about to change for the better and you're about to become more secure and more stable financially if you are leaving a relationship, it looks like things are going to start improving as well for you. There's some kind of uh, situation coming in. There could be an offer coming in, uh, maybe even an offer of marriage uh, with that um, Ten of Pentacles. But it is a much more financially stable situation that you're going through as well. Now I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, Wolf Pack. Uh, and the first card you've got over here is awareness. You are completely aware of the situation in your life. Do not underestimate danger. And being, being aware of the situation will help you avoid danger. Uh, so this will give you more choices. Uh, this card represents a person. So just be careful of toxic people that you're dealing with. If you're, uh, you know, don't trust anybody really is what this card is saying. There's a need for you to uh, leave behind toxic people and move on. Because it seems like whoever you have been dealing with, with that Ten of Swords, has been causing a lot of problems, has been backstabbing as well. So be aware of, of who you trust. You've got uh, the Compassion card over here. So you realize the innocence of a person and choose not to create harm. The lesson is to know that you can, but choose not to. You may be in a situation that requires compassion from others. It will come. So here again, there's a big snake here. Uh, you know, this card is really saying, don't retaliate. Uh, leave it to God. Uh, whatever, if anybody has been uh, nasty towards you, walk away from that situation. Uh, live to fight another day. Uh, you know, the universe will take care. Um, there will be divine intervention. They will sort the problem out. So rather than standing back and wasting your energy, uh, retaliating against what anybody's done to you, walk away from it and move towards a more positive um, mindset rather than dwelling in the past and dwelling in this negativity. And if it is a person, walk away from them. You've got two snakes over here showing that, you know, you have been dealing with very toxic people, but don't engage in them because they seem to be stealing your energy. And the last card is judgment card card finding yourself being judged by others or could be about court cases lawsuits illusions may indicate an angry man or woman are you judging others drop the judgmental attitude and um, life will be easier so this could be about a legal issue that you are facing now this could be a divorce that you went through so this is legal issues or you could be dealing with legal issues with regards to this work uh, that you're doing or maybe whatever has happened over here there was a legal ending maybe you're breaking contracts and moving on 
So there could be some kind of legal issue that needs to be sorted out first before all of this change happens. But it looks like you're moving on and moving on to something better. So once you decide or make up your mind and move on, uh, things will start getting easier for you. You do need to take uh, the plunge and do it because you're putting a lot of effort and energy into something that is not working out. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And the first card is the Three of Ariel. Do what you love. A time for great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. So this new job offer that comes in. This is the Three of Pentacles. You've got that Page of Pentacles. So you are going to get an offer for a new job that comes in. And it will be a job situation where you are working in a group of people. You might be heading a project or collaborating with a lot of people. But you're certainly going to be focused a lot more on your work uh, soon. You've also got the Three of Gabriel. Which is talking about prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out better than expected. So this is about, uh, you've got the three of Ariel, so these are two threes here, uh, you know, working with a group of people, but also doing a lot of travel, whatever projects you're working with, uh, you know, you're putting it out there and it's going to start reaping rewards. So this might be overseas travel or working with a lot of people on the uh, international front over there. So this new job uh, is going to uh, require a lot of work on your part, uh, a lot of collaboration, and you're going to be pretty busy soon. And also you're going to be meeting a lot of new people as well, and it's going to be quite successful. you got the five of Raphael. So this is about leaving behind an old situation and moving on. So remember that everything happens for a reason, release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness, search for the silver lining. So this is about leaving things behind, but not sitting and crying over whatever you've had to leave behind. So you can see her leaving this uh, these presents, uh, boxes of presents over here, something that she thought she wanted, but she's moving away from it. And again, you've got that eight of cups. You thought you wanted the situation, but maybe it wasn't uh, in your best interests. So don't turn back and look. Don't regret it. Leave it and move on to something um, with the five of uh, Raphael or the five of cups, there's also that healing. Um, you know, there's an opportunity that is going to come that is going to take you out of this. It might be an overseas opportunity as well, but you're going, you know, because you've got the travel card, the three of Gabriel next to it. So this might be a situation that you have to leave behind uh, what you knew for a long time, maybe even old friends or family and move on to something brand new and start fresh. But it's going to be very successful and you will be meeting a lot of new people um, and, uh, you know, you will have a lot more recognition for everything you've done. So although you're going through a pretty difficult period right now, uh, things are about to change and you're about to move on to something much more positive and it's going to be pretty successful as well. 